right, we're here today with Dr. Randy Hill, who is um, for the Hot Springs Millage. Good Hi. morning. Yeah, thanks or for afternoon. having me. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for letting us in your office to bug you death. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think this is a real important issue for our community. Mm -hmm. You know, my children are both graduates of Hot Springs High School. And people, when they hear millage or taxes, the automatic thing is to recall. And I understand that. We need to be good stewards of the monies that are placed in our education system. Right. But there's some needs that are very apparent there. Uh, one need is the fact that, that the gym that they use now is one of the oldest gyms in the whole county. Mm -hmm. And I realize that's kind of the invoke thing maybe is to build athletic facilities, but they really need it. I mean, people, kids that participate in athletics and uh, outside activities such as that are less apt to get pregnant, enter into drug issues mm -hmm. to graduate from, from a school. So those, those are pretty important programs that you need for uh, having good kids out in our community and, and contribute back to our community. And especially at Hot Springs because this is your inner city, this is where a lot of a lot of poorer people live is here in the city, right? And you, I mean you kind of, that those are the ones who are going to be more prone to the drugs and, and getting pregnant early. Right. So you need the sports, I well, get that. Well they don't, they don't have the economic opportunities that other kids do outside the county. You right. know, poor kids, it, it's tough and, and they, they need things such as nice facilities. They deserve nice facilities, but it's not just that. I mean, there's a lot of technology support that we're trying to add into this millage as well to kind of, you know, get us up to where we need to be. Uh, right. And then there's going to be classroom spaces uh, added to this facility, and mm -hmm. it will allow us to do things. Like right now, we only have one indoor gym over there for those kids, to, so we can't do basketball and volleyball at the same time. The cheerleaders mm -hmm. can't be in the same facility. It's old. If you go in there, it's hotter than the devil, and even in the even in the winter time for games, uh, it's filled to capacitance. Uh, there, there's a need there. This is not something that's capriciously done. Secondly, there's some debt service that's involved in this millage. So, mm -hmm. all the people that are concerned about debt, we're addressing that. Uh, when you get down to the real numbers of this, we're not talking about taxing you a, a ton of money here. I mean, if you look at the average housing in the district, it's going to be anywhere from ten dollars per year up to $60 a, deal, a year additional to what you're already paying. And to me, that's, that's an investment that's worth paying for our kids. You know, okay. That's an investment that, you know, if that keeps one kid from going to jail, how much is it going to cost to jail that kid? If that keeps one kid from not being able to graduate, mm -hmm. they stay there, they participate, and they graduate. That's going to help our community far more than the nickel and dime savings that we may achieve by not passing this millage. Right. So truly, truly, I mean, what they're saying is it's only to be ten dollars to sixty dollars a year added on to your property tax. Right. As, as you add the mills to it, and that's the average. You know, you can go back and obviously, if you got more expensive housing, it's going to be a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. You know, which speaks to the other issue: property values. Mm -hmm. What makes your property retain value in the community? It's having good schools. So if you don't right. support, you know, somebody say may say to themselves, "Well, I don't go to that school. I don't have kids in that school. Why should I do this?" Well, the answer is pretty simple. You you want your property values to be good. Well, if you don't have a good school, then your property values aren't going to hold up over time. So it's something else that someone we should consider with this. Um, <clears throat> I've heard a couple of, and I don't remember where I've heard these from. It seems like I know one person who said it, but um, so we did. You guys did have a mill um, several years ago. Um, I think it's been several years. It's been like ten years, maybe. I I'm not sure, but that. it was a ten point eight. Is that what it was? Ten point eight mil. Maybe so. Something like that. Okay, and then someone said that out of that money that had been raised, like a, a million dollars, like turned up missing. Do you know anything about that? No, I'm not. I don't know anything about that. Know. I could tell you that there's independent audits that are done every year. My wife sits uh -huh. on the school board. Yeah. Every penny is accounted for. Right. There's so many myths out there about the school district. Yeah. You know, there was a myth back in the day that they got all the money from the breakage at Oakland. I don't know if you've ever heard that or not. I grew up here that supposedly if you bet, you know, a horse paid three twenty or they paid three dollars and five cents that and you know, they're only gonna pay three dollars on that horse and the extra five cents went to the school district. That's yeah. that's one of those urban myths. Please Oakland Oakland keeps their money. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I mean there's there's a lot of urban myths and there's a lot mm -hmm. of misinformation that go out on these items. I mean right. There's nobody rolling around in uh, you know fancy cars at the Hot Springs School District. I can assure you that. You know we have the highest free and reduced lunch program mm -hmm. uh, in the county. You know, and you know we, we feed a lot of people that would go without meals otherwise. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that's money well spent. You know, okay. and if anybody's got an issue with that, I'd challenge you to turn away a child that's going to miss a meal because because of that. Yeah. You know, and that and we need the money for those reasons. We, we've got a new superintendent hired. We have an excellent IB program. We graduated a president. You know, this school mm -hmm. should be the crown jewel school in all of Arkansas. 
Um, speaking of the new superintendent, tell us a little bit about Mike Hernandez. Mike Hernandez, uh, he was a great guy. He uh, was up at the Arkansas School District. I mean, was working for the uh, Department of Education. Mm -hmm. Good background. Uh, was a superintendent in a little smaller community. His wife graduated from Hot Springs, as did his, uh, or sorry, his wife graduated from Hot Springs. He is going to enroll his children into the Hot Springs School District. We're real excited to have him. And when he interviewed, he was very, very strong, very passionate, intelligent. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody concerned about where your tax dollar is going to go, you need to sit down and visit with him. He could tell you to a dollar how much they spend on each kid that we educate. Okay. And, he, and he's a very good steward of that money. So, you know, when we visited with him, he had some really unique ideas to kind of expand our focus as far as drawing kids into the district. Did he go to UCA? At one I'm not sure where he graduated. I know he sure. did a, a doctorate thing from Harding. You know, he got a he got a doctorate from Harding. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So yeah. I'm not sure where he did his undergrad. I'm a little UCA alum. So not I'm just slept since then, so I'm not sure. <laughs> we had two other really good candidates that, uh, and it just speaks to the the quality of his his job performance that he was hired because the other two candidates, I promise you, can go somewhere else and get a job tomorrow. They're right. wonderful. So we have a new superintendent. We're looking for a little bit of help within the community here to make Hot Springs High School. Let's bring it up to code. It needs to come up. Let's fix a gym, and that's basically well, yeah, what you and want. I think I think it, it, like I say, this needs to be a point of pride for our city. Um, mm -hmm. You know, again, uh, when you look at the grand scheme of things, it's it's not that much money. It's not that much sacrifice. That money is going to be returned to you back, and the, the property values that, that would increase being in a good school district. And I would encourage everybody to please consider to get out there and vote for this millage. It's hard to vote for taxes. I yeah. totally, totally get that. Yeah. But as such, we have to prove that we're good stewards of those taxes. And I promise you we are. I mean, this million dollar missing thing, I've never heard that's of That's just such what I've thing. heard, and that's what I'm asking you, because you would probably know more so or well, I, I, about it if you'd heard. So. Well, I, I would encourage anybody that has a question to that extent, by all yeah. means, you know, address it. Mm -hmm. you know, but I could promise you that there's audits that occur every year. You know. Okay. Ten to sixty dollars doesn't really sound like a big per deal year. To me. No, I mean, no, and particularly if the next time you get your property, you know, you go to sell your property and the price has gone up. Oh, and another question: with this millage, um, is there a set time limit on how long this millage is going to be? I'm I'm not a hundred percent certain. I need to go back and reread that aspect of okay. it. Okay. Um, oh, and is there a website that our people can look and look at the, the Hot Springs, actual bill? I think the Hot Springs School District, uh, if you go to their site, I don't know if they have the actual uh, specifics of it on there, but I know that there's some pamphlets and some information that we'll be happy to make available to anybody that wants to review them. Okay. All right. Dr. Randy Hill, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. For the other side of the, uh, for the, of the millage, well, for you. the millage. All right. Uh, Trojan thank pride. <laughs> thank you. Thanks.